Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me. This is the third attempt at this video today. And let me tell you what has happened. The first time I was doing this unboxing, I was in the middle of the unboxing and somebody called me. And when you call me and I'm filming with my phone, which is my only camera, the video stops. So I had to start again. So then I did the next video and I finally got to see the bag that was in there and I got so down and so sad about it that I, I was down the whole video and I completed the whole video but uh, then some time has passed, about a couple of hours, that was this morning and now this is the afternoon and I feel I want to give you a better chance to see this bag and get to know this bag and because it's not in stores so you can't just go there and look at it in case you're thinking about this bag so I'm doing this video for the third time and I'm feeling better now and I as when I showed when I saw this bag I took a picture of it and I sent it to my husband and he agrees with me so let me just show you what it is. It was an unboxing this morning. I had it, got it delivered this morning and I was very excited about it because I have been waiting for this bag since June because it is the cap facet um, tabby, the shoulder bag tabby, <laughs> excuse me. And it's um, something that I've been waiting for and wanting. So well, let me just open it and I can keep you waiting. This is how it was packed. I have it all packed up to go back. The receipt. It came in this small box, but it's adequate. And it came in this dust bag, and this is not a 1941 bag. And I'll, let me explain why I'm so disappointed with this bag. Because Bottom line, it is a beautiful bag. However, my expectations are, were quite different. This, this is the bag without the handles. This is the shoulder bag tabby. And it's a, it's a really nice bag. I love, I love the tabby. Let me just show you the close-up of this. Flowers and these flowers are put on with a digital printer, a digital printer, and they do not, they stay there. They, you can't peel them off, you can't, they're not supposed to be scratchable either. Look at that beautiful, that's beautiful. Now, if that was on the front, I would be happy. This is the price tag. Hope that's focused for you. The number of this bag is 79001. This is the regular uh, coach uh, tag. This is the back. It has a slip pocket, which is the entire, the entire back is the slip pocket. Look at the pebble leather here. Look how nice that is. Okay. The pebble is really nice on the sides. Look how pretty, look how pebbled it is. I like pebble. I love leather and the texture of leather. But when you get to the front, look how flat this leather is. It has a pebble texture, but it's very flat and it has no tactile uh, feel as of, of uh, pebble. It just feels like almost smooth leather. Brass hardware. Let me show you why I am disappointed. I never saw this bag in a store. You can't see it in a store because it's available online. Unless you go to stores like maybe New York and Fifth Avenue. But you can't just walk into a store anywhere else and see it. I was expecting this bag. 
Look at the colors. Aren't they vibrant? Look at the leather on the flap. Look how textured it is. Beautiful. I think that's beautiful. Now look at this. Although this is a beautiful print, to me, this is, I wasn't anticipating dull and drab looking colors. I was ex anticipating pinks and purples. This picture is from co coach.com. I was expecting colorful, vibrant, alive colors. This I feel is very dull. Beautiful, but dull. And there's some more color in here, like the pink over there, but there is it. Let's take you inside the bag. Get the stuffing out. This is Oxblood um, microfiber, not suede. This is the back section. There's a slip pocket here with the um, coach um, storybook patch. And this is a nice size, very nice size. And there's a zipper compartment here. Smooth zipper. And that's the middle compartment. And this is the front compartment. There is no pocket or anything in the front compartment. There's the paper that's, go, that's going back in. And let me show you the handles. It comes with two handles. This is the short strap. That is the shoulder strap. And I believe this is seven and a quarter or seven and a half. I have the directions. I have to, I mean the um, the dimensions and have to look at it and tell you in a minute. Now this handle is beautiful to me. This is ox blood and this is ox blood over here around here. And the ox blood has a really nice pebble. You could feel it. You could feel the pebble here. Here, nothing. This is how it looks. It has an, a snap that has to go in the hole. And I find if you hold it this way, it's easier to do than, than the other side up when it's empty. I always felt that this bag was too wide for me. And that's why my initial choice was the Tabby 26, because it was it's smaller and more narrow. But I could live with this, you know, this size. There's another strap too for when you want to want to wear a shoulder, uh, not shoulder, crossbody. Put that on. And let me give you the directions before I go on. This strap is a 21 and a quarter drop. And the other strap is a seven and three quarter inch strap. The short strap is seven and three quarter inch strap. I, when I have a, a, um, a strap with a buckle, I always keep the buckle in the front. For the reason is, when I sit in a chair, I don't like the buckle to dig into my back, so I always keep it in the front, and I like how it looks. 
with the silver, I mean with the gold. This is the crossbody. And I, if I had this bed, I would mostly wear it as a crossbody. It's just a plain black strap, but truthfully, we got enough going on on this bag that I'm fine with it being a, a plain black strap. Mm -hmm. Initially, it wasn't plain black, plain, say that three times, plain black. It initially wasn't, and the people who, in, who bought this bag it, when it first came out were complaining because their strap was black, but they were told by Coach that it, that was just mm -hmm. a pre- a pre-picture before it actually pre-production picture before it was actually went into production so what it is a beautiful bag it is but I do think t this is drab and dull compared to my what I was expecting my expectations are were not this so I, w I had it all packed up to go back and I'm pretty sure that I'm most probably going to return it. I'm going to, by the time I return it, by the time I have the ability to return it, which won't be for a week or so, I might change my mind. If it's here and I'm looking at it and at it and I'll get used to it. But I'm going to think about it. I got this on sale, believe it or not. Yeah, during the sale that Coach was having, this was excluded. excluded. However, I had another order which came in a huge uh, box that was dry. However, the inside box that had the, the bag inside it, uh, it was like a gift box, was saturated. And I, I think it's because um, there must have been water in the warehouse because of the hurricane that Florida endured a couple weeks ago. So when I told Coach about it, they sent me a 20% off a 20% off coupon to apply to another order and it did not have exclusions. So I was able to, this is, this bag is $5.50 normally. I, the bag, the coupon was 20% off, which gave me a $110 reduction. So I got this for $4.40. So I'm not going to get it for that price again, because that was a one-time use. So if I would buy this again, it would be $5.50. So that's another consideration. Um, and the flowers on the back. The reason I didn't initially buy this bag and instead went for the, 20, the Tabby 26 was because of the flowers on the back. Because this is way too much for my taste. I love the way the Tabby 26 looked. It had just a little embellishment over here in the middle and it tapered to the sides. And that was it. I like that, but too much flowers for me is not my taste, even though I might think it's beautiful on someone else. So there's a lot of reasons I shouldn't keep this bag. So I just wanted to share this with you because you know you're not going to really get to see it in real life. And this is as close to real life, I guess, unless you go and order it. Also, this is a very this entire uh, collection is limited. It's not gonna it's not gonna be a regular that you're gonna see season to season. And I don't even know if they're replacing uh, some of the bags. I don't know if they're gonna replace this one. I was told they're not replacing the Tabby Twenty Six with the uh, Cave Facet design unless there is an overwhelming demand for it. So um, I don't know if they're going to replace this because I heard that um, I heard that they might not. So I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you, if you want to let me know what you think, uh, that would be great. Otherwise, I'm, you know, most probably at this point, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to keep it, but because my husband thinks it's drab and dull also, and he never says anything negative because to him, all bigs are nice. As long as I'm happy that all bigs are nice. But, I don't know. So, thank you everybody for watching. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. 
and I will see you in the next video. I love you guys. Take care, everyone. Bye.